four workers have been beaten up in India for eating meat. Um, are you ready with the video for this before the summary? Yeah, I have the video ready. Okay. Another incident of mob attack came to light in India after a video went viral on Twitter showing a group of men beating up four workers sitting around eating food. Four unidentified laborers had been hired for construction work at a, at a residence. During a lunch break, they had gone by a nearby Devasthan and to have a meal sitting under a tree. Um, and once they were under there, they were beaten by a mob of people for eating meat. Armin, are you ready with the video? Yes. Okay, let me go to the video and also change to display. Okay, I, the reason why I muted the video is because they have a weird... India's t news is weird. They have like this music on the background and just to try to make things a lot more intense than it actually is. And I don't know if the music is copyright uh, right or not, so I'm not going to... And I also, they're speaking in, um, you know, they're, it's not English, so... It doesn't. It's not worth me playing the sound. So I'm just going to show you the video. Should I? Sh should I include the sound? I'll include this. No, sound. I will not It's up to you. Okay, okay. I'll go. Hands on your head. 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 Hands जबकि उनका एक साथी इस घटना का वीडियो बना रहा है सोशल मीडिया पर वायरल हो रही यह तस्वीर उत्तर प्रदेश के बरेली के शेखपुरा गांव की है जानकारी के मुताबिक ये चारों युवक पेशे से मजदूर हैं, जो इलाके में बन रहे मकान में मजदूरी करने आए थे और वो खाना खाने के लिए देव के अंदर चले गए थे आरोप है की ये चारों युवक देव में बैठ कर खा रहे थे जैसे ही ये खबर गाँव में फैली गांव के कुछ दबंग मंदिर पहुंच गए और बेल्ट और लाल घोसों से इन चारों युवकों की पिटाई कर दी सोशल मीडिया पर वायरल ये वीडियो चार दिन पुराना बताया जा रहा है वीडियो के वायरल होने और मजदूरों की शिकायत के बाद पुलिस ने सात लोगों के खिलाफ केस दर्ज कर उनकी तलाश शुरू कर दी है that was that was pretty that was pretty intense these yeah. people are just sitting there minding their own business and eating lunch and the whole bunch of people mob came and you know imagine if this happened in the united states imagine like the in the united states uh, some muslims were sitting somewhere and eating and a whole bunch of white supremacists came and like or some alt-right people and started beating them up because they were eating outside of a church or something i don't know imagine how much attention that would get like they right. you know the, the, why is this not getting that much attention the the, the real the the real rise of the alt right is happening in india right this is this is a regressive left you know wet dream they wish this was happening to muslims in their own backyard so that they have something more to cry about but when it's not happening in their backyard they're not they're not talking about it that much well and what's funny is you and i are going to be called liars we're going to be told that what we just reported right here was fake news oh was yeah fake. you're right even with okay, the video so people are going to tell us the the hindu nationalists are going to come and be like fake news armin and ali are spreading fake news like even fake news. With, even if some you show staged the video. <laughs> attempt on mine and your part we're going to get it oh. i've been getting it all week actually and it's very interesting that you ask why why is it that this isn't getting a lot of attention it's the same reason why hinduism in general doesn't actually get a lot of attention it's because it is staying in india right like that's where the primary um group of hindus are it's where people so people think that it's kind of like an untouchable mm -hmm. i have had a lot of hindus come to me this week telling me oh yes hinduism is terrible because we invaded foreign lands and we made slaves of their people and forced our religion on them just like abrahamic religions is that why you're saying hinduism is terrible no because you didn't have to what you did is you came up with a caste system to enslave your own people right there by yourself so while hinduism isn't growing out into other countries i get that um it's, it's staying right there and when you have people who are so devoted to their own ideas and their own nation that they will call the truth and facts lies in order to to have this not spread outside of their own backyard 
Yeah, I hear that a lot. Oh, at least we don't behead people. At least we don't have suicide bombers. At least we don't invade other countries and spread Hinduism. Like, oh, congratulations for not beheading people. What a high standard. Like, what do you want? The middle of not beheading people? Like, is that, if that's really the, your defense, that really shows how shitty your religion is. That you have to be proud of not beheading people. Uh, Subham is saying the news is from the state um, Uttar Pradesh. Am I reading it right? Their chief minister is an idiot and a Hindu extremist. Most cow related news uh, come from the state. I feel sorry for most people there. So, they were eating meat by meat. I'm, I'm assuming they mean beef, right? But the, the, a lot of people, I'm kind of hearing already what some Hindus might say. Like, it's not just that they were eating beef. They were eating beef close to the temple, right? Is that what they were saying? So they're like... That, that was part of the news, yeah. As, as if that makes it even... As, as if that makes it acceptable to start beating... Do you see that? They were like holding... By the way, for people that are listening to this on a podcast instead of on video... The, the Muslims were just sitting there and they were like begging like please just let us go they were so it was so it was just so sad and they like just like and just sitting there and the guy's like no put out your hand like put out your hand so I could read it and the guy was like they hope they're surrounded by a whole bunch of Hindus and they're just sitting there and one guy is just covering his face and the guy not only is beating them with, with his belt he's forcing them to hold out his hand so that he could beat his hand and the guy knows that he doesn't have a choice and he's just holding out his own hand. This is so, it's so fucking barbaric, man. Uh, let me see what else. So Baham and GV saying, so Baham is saying weapons in hands, abuses in mouth. The commentary goes kind of like this. Okay. I'm glad that the news is covering this in India though. Like this is a Hindu news, right? So, right. so I'm glad that they're not like ignoring it. I'm hoping that it doesn't get to a point where something like this would get ignored by Indian news. So that's a, that's a good sign, right? So, Pam, is that is that normal for the news to make this a big deal? And what uh, what are some because every time we cover news like this, a lot of in, people from India like are saying fake news, fake news. What would the excuse for this be based on your experience? Given that this has gone so viral that they can't even say fake news anymore. GV is saying, "Are you the Western propaganda the Hindu atheists warned of me about?" <laughs> yes, we're the. It's very interesting because they they believe if you say stuff about. Uh, it, 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 they're so selective about what's fake news because as soon as these Hindu nationalists any news about Muslims they just they're just ready to believe it right as any horrible news about Muslims they they're never skeptical but no matter how much proof and evidence you show about Hindu related stories they're like fake news you're Western propaganda you're you know it's interesting you're make you're trying to and, and I don't understand like what do these people think they think some there are countries in the West that are trying to make India look bad like why would they do that like what's the whole why would like is United States like hiring us or another people with the goal of making India look bad like what would be the what would be the end goal there? Like, what is this? Right. This is a conspiracy. I don't understand. The, at least when you work on a conspiracy theory, try to make it. You, when you have villains in a made-up story, you have to make your villains believable. They, you know, you have to have something that you know makes their efforts achieve a goal or something. Are people just spreading bad news about India just for the sake of spreading bad news? Everything like what? What are they getting out of it? Like, make your conspiracies work. Um, Talk to Muslims when it comes to Zionist conspiracies. They they have they have uh, figured that out. Subham is saying not uncommon, but because of the huge alt right population, crimes by Muslims get more screen time than against Muslims usually. So Subham is saying that yes, this is getting coverage, and it's not unusual. But if it was a crime by Muslims it, it, in India, it would get it would have gotten more screen time than this what this is getting uh by the way a lot of people should understand like uh, when this is something this is the failure of the muslim community as well the muslim community is obsessed with the muslim community and the regressive left are obsessed with hate crimes against muslims by either white people or in israel 
But the main anti-Muslim hate is happening in India, in Yemen, and but in China. On a much greater scale. Like Muslims are a minority in India, but they're still... The, the, given that India is so huge, even though they're a minority, this is like... I think when it comes to the number of Muslims, they're number three or four on the list when it comes to countries. We're talking about a shit ton of Muslims here that are being abused. Astronomically higher than anything you can find in other countries. And this, it's a failure of the Muslim community as well that they're not bringing attention to it. The only... Okay, so Muslims maybe in Pakistan, they're bringing attention to this because they, it's mostly because of their anti-India stance. Uh, Muslims in India are also bringing attention to this well because they're the target. But Muslims in the Arab countries are not bringing attention to this as much because they're so focused on Israel and 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 United States. Um, and again, uh, because it's brown on brown crime, the regressive left doesn't care either. Because to the regressive left, if you're not white, you can't be evil. You have to either be white or you have to be like brainwashed by white people. So Parham is saying depends on the news channels. If the news channel is under Bay GP control, I am sure they didn't bother to show this news for more than a few m moments. Ren is saying not just Muslims, all non-Hindus. I don't know what you're referring to there, Ren. Uh, get China to bring the social credit system in India. I, honestly, guys, um, you're gonna you the the world is gonna be a scary place for Muslims once India and China become the replace United States as the main superpowers, because uh, you know people fake people hate on United States as a superpower. They're gonna miss the United States as a superpower when Ch Muslims are gonna miss the United States as a superpower when China and India become replace United States as a superpower. Um, or maybe they won't miss them because they a lot of them would love to be the victim. Um, karma strikes. Oh my god, this is the top comment tally. Karma strikes. What goes around one day comes around. Just be nice to him. Oh, shut the fuck up. Wow. Who is this guy? Are you from India? Because you're from California, but your name suggests that you're from one of... Let me get, maybe I'm profiling. Maybe I shouldn't do that. But anyways, um, you so you believe in collective punishment. You believe, I don't know how to pronounce your name, N-I-H-I-T. You believe in blaming one group of people for crimes that they have not committed just because they beloved, belong to a tribe that some of its members committed some other crime. So you want to you believe you believe in punishing people for things that they haven't done just because they belong to a tribe that some of its members have done you wrong. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.